people might think I'm sick by saying this, but <laughs> we, we used to, we use, um, we, <laughs> we use a thing called KY jelly, right? Which right. most people know what that's used for. It's, 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 it, but anyway, but it's, you know, you, you just need some of the basic things, you know, like, you know, with tongs or wands or whatever you use. I mean, we have an array of stuff in the kit, mm -hmm. but a lot of it is quite basic stuff. And I think people, when they sort of look into the kit, they go, oh, they expect it to sort of, I mean, there's a ton of stuff, don't get me wrong. I mean, we've got so much shit, it's ridiculous. I bet. But, <laughs> but when we go to do a job, it tends to be, you know, I suppose it's a bit like a chef, you know, we, they'll yeah. have certain condiments and ingredients that everything is kind of the, the base from. And, and I'm the same with tools and, and little things that I use. And people might think I'm sick by saying this, but we, we used to, we use, um, we, <laughs> We use a thing called KY jelly, right? Which right. most people know what that's used for. It's, 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 it, but anyway, but it's, <laughs> it's, um, but basically it makes the hair, if you want to make the hair really unbelievably glossy, like where you want it to look like, it looks like vinyl, oily, yeah. shiny, like, so you can almost see your reflection in it. Ooh. We use that sometimes on the surface. So we might gel the hair and put KY over the top of it. Okay. It's a lubricant. It's a lubrication. That's what it's oh. designed for. Oh, okay, cool. I, did, I didn't know what came getting, getting too much into detail, but <laughs> it's a lubrication. It's a, you won't know because you're too young, but it was quite popular in the, in the sort of, well, it's been popular for years, but yeah. But yeah, so we, we, we still use that in the kit. That, that's a, that still gets, comes out now and again. And people who know what it is like, what are you going to do with that? <laughs> that's, a good, that's, a point. that's a good talking point on set. I use food gelatine, um, um, so you, that you can that you make jelly with. So we'll mix that with water, and we'll put that into the hair. Especially if we're doing something where maybe a girl's going into the water, and you've done something a bit sculpted, and you yeah. want the hair to stay exactly the same. Then you, then you. Um, we also, and I tell you also what we we did recently. We did a story um, where we sort of we wanted to make it look like the color was still in, the color application was still in the hair. And yeah, I saw that. Like, yeah, did you like that? It's so and cool. Some of that, some of that we used, um, even though we used the actual colour, we also, we, to create a barrier, we used, we used shaving foam and then we mixed it with, with food colourings. Um, and then it sort of, and so you get this kind of really nice consistency, almost like a tint. Yeah. Or a, or a hair colour. And yeah. then you paint it in and it stops it, obviously, because you, you know, you don't want the colour, if you're going to put, say, a blue or a yellow on blonde hair, you don't want it to stain. So it's all those little tricks. You know, we have everything. We, we, we have, you know, um, cocktail sticks that we we weave hair around. And, and oh. you know, when, I, when you first started with me, she said, what's those cocktail sticks in the kit for? And I'm like, well, we, do, we, weave, we weave hair into them. And she's like, no, you don't. And I'm like, I had to show her. And it was, it was quite a complicated <laughs> little thing, but... It gives you a texture that nothing, nothing else comes near it. Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah. So it's little tricks like that and things that you pick up over the years of watching other people. And, you know, there's all, there's all, you know, you've got to remember that going back into history, um, you know, like hundreds of thousands of years ago, people would put, you know, they would, they would heat up a rock. Yeah. And from the sun and wrap their hair around it. I mean, do you know yeah. all of this stuff? Have you done the history of hair? No, I don't know it's stuff like that. Stuff. There's crazy stuff. I mean, that when you look at the Egyptians and they, with their hair straight, mm -hmm. you know, their hair was is frizzy, it's naturally curly, it's like afro yeah. hair. So they would, yeah. they would, they would, they yeah. have their own ways, methods of making their hair straighter by using clay and lots of weird sort of and 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 um, and, and animal fat to kind of make the hair kind of straight. And then it'd sit in the sun and let the heat kind of relax it. I mean, it's mental stuff when you really research it all. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of that stuff that we do now has evolved from then. I've got one little thing. I've got a little, I've got a little bro. I wish I should have got it out for you. I've got a little, a little thing that I use from Muji, which anybody can buy. And it's a bit like, um, it's, I think it's for, I think it's like a little shoe brush. You know, for like taking like dust, like stuff off your off off yeah. um, suede shoes. Yeah. 
And it's, it's only about that big and it's got a, it's a little brush. But I use that a lot for edging. I do edging with it. I do it for the hairlines. Yeah. Um, if I need to get into really clean little bits of whatever it is, it's just that it, it's just that it sort of micromanages the hair. Yeah, because the bristles little, are quite close together, is it? Very, very close. Like, like almost looks like a flat surface. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. And if you put it on your skin, you can, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't hurt you or anything. It's kind of got like a nice, very soft, soft finish to it. One of the things I definitely want to know from you, like what yeah. systems do you have? I use uh, Mizutani. Do you know Mizutani? M-I-Z-U-T-A-N-I. I do know. I think they Mizutani. They they are they're probably I think the best. The, I've got a couple of pairs. They're the best scissors out there. But they just do like insane quality. Yeah. And I think all, it's all the stuff that goes with it and the aftercare and all that kind of thing. And I, think, I know. Oh, yeah, they have like lifetime get like yeah, yeah, they do. You, so. things like that. But you pay you, you pay over a thousand pounds for some of these scissors. I mean, and, and more. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Japanese guys, they're the ones. I mean, they're like the experts, you know. They so anything as soon as somebody mentions Japanese and scissors, you, you ain't gonna go wrong. No, because those guys are just like it's all about quality and, and whatever. Yeah, totally. Um, the scissors thing, um yeah, ask me. I I mean, I don't know if you know of any brands because I I mean I would love to have a pair of Misatanis, but they're so expensive. And from talking to people, even experienced hairdressers. I'm sort of learning that people don't want to spend that much on scissors because of what you said of like, you can drop them. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Maybe they don't know enough about scissors to feel confident in buying them. I'm just trying um, to find that, because these people, oh, there's these other people that we have scissors from, but hold on, just give me a second. Ah, these guys, and they're, they're called Mataki. Do you know these guys? Mataki, yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, have um, you used their scissors then before? Yeah, they're very good. And, they, and okay. actually they're very reasonable as well. Yeah, but when I used to be at Tony Guy, we used to use, we were the first people to kind of go with, go to bigger, bigger blades. Yeah. Everybody, Elder Sassoon lot used to use these tiny little scissors. Tiny little. Because <laughs> I, you know, I know Mark and I know Tim and Annie and all of, you know, I know that kind of age group. And we used to like, we used to take the piss and go like, what, what's, what, you know, because they used these little scissors, but when, in the 90s, in the sort of mid I would say mid nineties, early nineties, we started cutting it. We started, we were changing the way we wanted the haircuts to be a bit faster in the salon. Of yeah. course, to take a bigger section, we, we would use a bigger comb, longer yeah. comb and a longer blade yeah. so that you could take more hair through the fingers. And you, so you weren't snip, 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 snipping. You were doing more. So you yeah. could, and it, so it was just faster. It was a faster way of working. So the scissors played a massive part in that. I don't know if that's any of interest to you, but the longer it, blades, and I still use a longer blade now. I, I mean, I don't. I, some of the Id idiots that I used to work with used to have these big seven and a half inch. <laughs> and you, you know, you could cut something from about two foot away. But I was so like, nervous. I couldn't. I lose my hand. Six <laughs> inches, a big exactly. Six inches, the kind of is the. I mean, yeah. most people use about five and a half. I think don't they? Five, five and a half. Yeah, I use I use six now. But yeah. yeah, when I left Sassoon is when I started using a six. And I was like, this has changed my life. I mean, I like a smaller scissor for tiny little details, Detail, maybe going yeah. around the ears and stuff. But now, yeah, I, I always use a six. Um, cool. Uh, I think I think I've asked you so much and you've and you you've sure? answered, Are you happy? You've answered even more than I asked for. Such, oh gosh, this has been such an amazing phone call. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, Nick, it's thank you so so much. Um, no I'll problem, be in touch. Kayla. Have a lovely day and, and in, you know I'm good luck with everything. And like I say, anything you need, just ask us, okay? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. All right, I'll speak to you soon. Bye, Bye. Take care.